Today's life advice was presented by Modelo. Modelo, brewed for those with a fighting spirit. Life advice. The email for submissions, lifeadvicerr at gmail.com. After I made it more specific and then repeated the address, the spike in submissions has gone quite up. It's kind of like, you know, leaving your your number a second time before we had that invention called cell phones. Word. <laughs> okay, a little cleanup here on the show. When we talked about the old er female uh, that was 60 that had interest in our guy, he wrote a very funny email. I didn't get the reference. Me neither, actually. I didn't, I didn't get the 6 to 12 reference. And that's an erection. So that's on me. I'll Look, I'll tell you, as I get a little bit older, I'm not going to be 100% cool all the time. I'm not going to get every single fucking reference. I try, but every now and then I'm going to have a whiff. And as I get older, it's just what happens. You can, you're going to have, you know, you're not going to know how to say a rapper's name. It's a nightmare. I'm, st- I'm staring it down. Uh, I think the most disappointing thing is, Kyle, you're my boner guy. I guess so. I mean, I'll put that one in my pocket, I guess. And I don't know if that's weird to say, but uh, yeah, probably yeah, it is. is weird. Uh, yeah, I just, I, it wasn't a forgettable movie. It just, um, I don't know. It just wasn't like, dude, like, I don't know. When did that movie come out? Like 2008, 2009? I just, I didn't. It's forgetting like, Sarah Marshall, right? Yeah. Maybe it was 2012. I don't know. Either it's an way, awesome it's, movie. No, it is no, an I think awesome it's a, movie. It's I an all time movie. I just, I just didn't, you know, I don't remember everything. Shockingly. Yeah. I wouldn't. And if it did come out in high school, I'd guarantee I didn't go back to school and be like, oh, dude, went from six to midnight. Like that wouldn't have been one of my, that wouldn't have been one of my things that's burned in my brain. So uh, I'm sorry. You're right. I should. I think once, once I saw the first or second tweet, I did remember, but uh, sorry. Do you still want to be my boner guy or do I have to change it? No, dude. I mean, listen, my LinkedIn's not that like full, you know, I just decided to take uh, some of my old jobs off of there. So yeah, I'll put boner guy on there. Okay, then. Good. We had a lot of uh, follow-ups on the foot race thing. I don't know. I still think there's a spinoff there somewhere. I'm not, I'm not sure I want to add another day to the schedule, but Kyle, you down for doing all follow-up emails? That's, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I'd like to try out our, our, our hot bench style segment before we do that, but um, you know. Hot bench. Yeah, I like, I like that. Hot bench. I'll go through the emails and then send them to you. <laughs> wow. Kick ass, dude. <laughs> like I sense, day. I sense less passion in the tone of that statement. Okay, here's one uh, from Steve C. It says, my wife's about to have our first kid. Should I ask my boss for paternity leave? He doesn't have kids and he's Italian. Plus, he's kind of a dick. Nice. From <laughs> 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 what is paternity leave for spotify dude i've heard it's six months and not only have i heard it's six months which is very tempting it's also you can like take two months and then fuck off for four months later like you could like use like the summer as like yeah, i gotta use the other four months like is what i've heard um so I heard it six months too. I honestly don't know. You sound enticed to have a kid. You sound like, look, reproducing alone six months off. Would you take the full six months? You know, I got to say maybe. I don't know. I guess it would depend on, you know, what's the basketball me. season. Is it football yeah. season or basketball season? I guess it really, it really depends. Yeah. But I don't, I don't want you to, because we both know the answer is absolutely fucking 100% yes. I'm taking <laughs> all 180 plus days. Well, so I know you did right from the office. So I had my third kid just for the paternity leave. <laughs> there you go. Good reference. There's a guy who I worked with. I didn't work with. I barely knew him, but he tore up his knee. And work was like, how long are you going to be out? And he was like, well, I don't know. And they're like, you know, well, a couple of weeks to be back. And he was like, what, what can I do? They're like, well, you know, disability leave or for whatever. I mean, he, he tore up his knee playing sports. And he was like, well, what is it, eight weeks? And they were like, well, it's eight weeks, but what are you going to do? He's like, yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> Guess who didn't get re-signed? All right. right. But, you know, there is, a, there is a lesson in there. I would, I would want you, first of all, shocker, it's not up to me. If it were up to me, I don't give a shit. If Saruti takes six months and a day off. Uh, we'll find out in about two weeks if you're still okay yeah, well, with he's, this arrangement. <laughs> he, no, he's doing, no, I love the guy, but like, I wouldn't ever go, hey, dude, you know, I know paternity leave. Like, you don't know me that well if you actually think that I would do that. Like I could, 
I could no, go. No, I mean, we'll see in two weeks if you're okay with just me and you doing the show again. <laughs> I said, we'll find out. If, if we'll find out after to... Denver. I think post Denver, we're going to be coming back at level 10 friendship. Well, I really it, it so. can't, it can't be level 10 until we do something here in LA, but that's, that's, on we me. could start, maybe we get joining rooms or something, but we'll lock the door obviously between us. Leaving it open would be a fucking another level. That would be something. Hey, buddy, you asleep? <laughs> What's the most scared you've ever been? <laughs> Getting some nachos. You want to double up? Okay, let's get to the questions here. Uh, but yeah, I think Saruti is doing the first couple months then coming back thing and then leaving later on. Well, I he's tiptoeing was... on how to like still do World Cup, Cup content and not have his <laughs> <laughs> wife and new yeah. mother being like, are you kidding me? <laughs> he's like, no, it's World Cup. I think and by like, the way, in this phase, the kid doesn't even want to hang out with you. So, correct. Yeah. Or would remember. I mean, so, so how many life advices can you miss? You just have to yeah. be imprinted, right? You just imprint on the kid and then you're good for a while anyway. Imprinting? Are you, re- are you reading some nurturing books? What's going it's on? It's just like you? a first, first, yeah, first people, couple people they see, right? That's, that's just got to be in that group. And then, uh, I don't know. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm taking six months. You should speak Spanish two years, is what I heard. As soon as you can. No. Just start. No, seriously. Okay. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Here's here's a basic one. Dude won't take the hit. 5'10", uh, 190, 27 years old. I was your stereotypical 3 and D white high school hooper, Aaron Kraft. Aaron Kraft was, was the word grit in sneakers. Uh, he was my hero. We also look shockingly similar. Okay. I've got a friend. Let's call him Greg, who I've considered one of my closest friends just a few months ago. Okay, we were in each other's weddings, but now I can't stand him. I'm trying to distance myself from this dude, but he won't take the hint. I moved a few hours away at the start of the year, and Greg has come to visit a few times for golf weekends. Everything was fine until we set up a weekend-long match uh, with a shirt from my club's pro shop, $80 max. So I think what they're saying is they set up the match for the shirt. Okay, like, whoever wins buy, gets the yeah, shirt. It's out 80 bucks. Go buy the other guy's shirt. All right, dude's, dude's playing for shirts. Better than playing for skins. Get it? Golf joke. Got it. Got it. Got it. Yep. We went out for the first round on Saturday, and that's when it all fell apart. The pro shop cashier was one of the younger kids who was very ob- oblivious and didn't give a shit and rang Greg up thinking he was a member and didn't charge him a green fee. While I was checking out, Greg grabbed a golf glove. Read that one out loud fast. I can't believe I got to do that the first time. <laughs> he nailed and that walked too out of the clubhouse without paying for it. So Greg here just fucking five finger oh, discounted himself. <laughs> so he doesn't get charged. For, I'm just talking out loud now. Fucking guy shows up, not a member, doesn't get charged for green fees because it's a young kid behind the thing. And then he stole a golf glove. I'll admit something happened to me recently on the whole. Uh, um, What the hell's the sauce? What the fuck is the hot sauce? Not Tabasco. Sriracha? Oh, my God. No, 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 no. I can't I can't believe I'm not remembering this. Like what is the hot, hot sauce? sauce? No, what's the hot sauce that everybody likes? Is it, is it CH something? Uh mine is I'm Chalupa. Crystal. Chalupa. Chalua? Chalula? Yeah. One of those. Tapatio <laughs> in my house. Dude. I'm this, I'm Louisiana this, though. Yeah, anyway, this podcast is losing its steam here. <laughs> so <laughs> Remember we talked about whether or not it was okay to steal the entire bottle because they don't provide you to go things when you go Correct. to Chipotle. And I was like, well, everybody kind of does that. I went to a very common place that I go to and the girl that rung me up was like $7, sir. And I knew it wasn't $7. I was like, there's no way it's seven. I told her, I was like, there's no way it's $7. I was like, are you guys doing a promotion? She was like, no, you did the this, this, and this. I was like, yeah. She's like $7. And I was like, you know what? They fuck up my order half the time I'm here anyway. So I was we'll like, see where this goes. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, fine, here you go. I gave her a chance, I gave her the out, and then I justified it in my head. So I thought back to the Chipotle hot sauce thing, and I went, you know what? I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I don't think it's the same thing, but whatever. What the fuck am I talking about today? Cholula. (laughs) There you go. Okay, back to this guy stole the glove. So he walks out of the clubhouse without paying for it. I walk out mortified to find him bragging about his free round and gol- uh, and glove. All I said to him was that if he really needed a glove, I have extras and I'd happily give him one. The next day, we finished in a tie on the 36th hole. So what did you guys do? Play 18 back to back? All right. Days. Uh, 
They're tied on the 36th, proceed into a tiebreaker. I offered to play an extra hole, but he just wanted to do a putt to determine the winner. I ended up winning, and he spent the next hour bitching about how unfair it was, how he should have <laughs> played another hole, and that he shouldn't have to buy me a shirt. He ended up buying me a shirt, but that wasn't the end of his bitching, just the worst type of loser. I felt pretty gross about the theft of a $15 glove due to just be given a free round and his shit attitude after losing. The competition had been friendly and uncontentious the whole weekend. All right, so we're talking back-to-back days. Jeez, you really hung out with this guy a lot. Maybe that's the problem. And he's a thief. Uh, there had been other things that had popped up over the years that made my wife and I discuss our relationship with Greg and his wife. Wait, you guys just had a couples off where you all talked about Greg? <laughs> And the relationship survived. Maybe you should be pumped. He wants to golf with you. Uh, again, I don't know what you're referencing here. So I'm going to go ahead and, you know, just defer to you on this one. Just a little zinger for you, buddy. Don't worry about it. But ultimately, we decided nothing had been serious enough to call off our, our friendship. You guys had to have a fucking meeting about it. <laughs> that weekend was the last straw, though. After we say goodbye, I haven't answered a single call. And our text ratio is currently 13-2. <laughs> now, now I'm in. I'm in on the emailer again. Uh, that's over the last past month. Uh, I don't really want to confront the guy. I was hoping he would just accept a long distance Irish goodbye, but he keeps texting and calling. How do I get this guy to leave me alone? P.S. I went back to the club after he left and paid for his glove. Real Samaritan here. All right. Yeah, this guy sounds like he sucks. I mean, then to argue, hey, I don't want to play the extra hole. Let's do putt. And then he thought he was going to beat you, obviously, in that. And then you beat him. And then he bitches the whole fucking time. It sounds like he doesn't have a ton of friends, man. So he will not. He will just keep reaching out. He will just keep reaching out, right? We, we talk about with text ratios here. You know, at some point you have to go. It's a pretty simple rule, man. Like, I fuck up texting. I do. And sometimes it is a legit mistake. Because I'll be like, oh, damn, a lot of stuff's coming in, moving around, thoughts. Guy never stops thinking. Sometimes it just gets distracted in my own imagination. But if it's somebody you are supposed to be texting with, like, there's one thing when it's the random text, I'll get it from somebody and I'll go like, oh, wait, let me think about that. And then I'll get back to him. Then I'm like, oh, I fucked that one up. But if it's somebody who's like somebody like a constant correspondence and there's specific like questions that actually are supposed to be answered and those are being ignored. Everybody sees those. All right. The first sign of a relationship not working out is when you're going like, oh, hey, does he text you back? No, not really. Okay. There you go. So this guy, in this case, it sounds like you want to completely cut him off. You don't care about the history. You don't care about the end of the stuff. There's clearly other things. Fine. Here's what's great. You have something very specific to point to. You go, hey, dude, I don't want to fucking hang out with you anymore. You stole a fucking glove. You bitched the whole time and I'm sick of it. All right. And there's going to be a cool off period. And then because guys have a tendency to do this, he may come back around six months, you know. So instead of the kind of like slow play ghosting of the male buddy, you can if you want to. It's going to be a little confrontational. 5'10, 190, 27. Not worried about it. You you can you can point like if, if this bothers you this much, then you got to say something. You'd be like, hey, here's what happened. Here's how I feel. And now I'm sick of it. Don't want to talk to you for a while. Maybe he cools off. Self-reflection time. You know what? Or maybe he gets pissed because he sounds like a hothead and he gets mad at you. And then you're like, cool. I even have more of a justification here instead of dancing around the whole thing. Yes, it is super easy for the people who do not know the other people, have no attachment, no emotion whatsoever to tell everybody else what they're all supposed to do. But you don't want to hang out with this guy already. Although it said just not that long ago, everything was fine. I don't know. I think I think it's a bit of a blow up. You have a reason to be mad. You can just tell him about it. Maybe he'll calm down or maybe he will uh, calm down and then repair whatever needs to be repaired. Whatever. Word. You know, I had a, I think this is, I think I know what this is. You know, I had a good buddy, Joseph, back in uh, when I was like, a, a, my, un, before high school, really, we kind of fell out around high school, but you know, our moms were good friends. They worked together. We loved hanging out. Um, and, but our, our, our parents kind of knew not let us do two sleepovers in a row. They just kind of knew not to do it. We always wanted to do it. And then by, you know, the next it's day, like it's like, no, dude, I don't want to watch you play RuneScape anymore. No, I don't. I don't want to do this. I don't want to look at your fucking dad's baseball cards. And then we're like, then by the, me the, you know, the afternoon of the second day, we're like actually like fighting with each other. And I'm spending like 
I'm spending whole hours in another part of his house when I'm staying over his house or, you know, whatever. And our my after a while, my mom was just like, I'm not, I'm picking you up at 11 o'clock tomorrow. Don't try to pull this shit where you, you know, it'll be easier if you just stay over another night because this shit doesn't work out. It's just with you two guys, like a day is the max. And I think maybe a day might be the max with you two guys because, uh, you know, now, now, now you're not like, it seems like it was fine before he doesn't get why you're, you know, why you're not into this. And I think you just had too much time. Like you said, it was like th the 36th hole of, the, of day two. That's just, you don't sleep over two nights in a row, man. I think that may be what it is. Man, that was good. That's unbelievable, <laughs> Kyle. The two night sleepover theory. We have something new. We're going to have, you're going to have to hang on to that nugget. You're going to apply it to other emails in the future. That sure. was awesome. Oh, thanks, man. Nothing to add. It's, it's so good. Rosillo, stop talking.